It was November 1944 when two electrical engineers from Fort Wayne, Indiana, Edward Schaefer and T. Wayne Kehoe, decided to go into business for themselves, mass producing small electrical motors. And in rented space on the second floor of an old shoe factory in Bluffton, Indiana, Franklin Electric was born. With the objective of building an international brand, the company was named for Benjamin Franklin. And within weeks, the company was producing its first product, lightweight generators for the U.S. Army Signal Corps. But just as demand for the lightweight generators ended with the war, the housing boom created by the returning GIs created a huge market for electrical pump motors. And by 1947, Franklin sales had reached $1.7 million, almost $20 million in today's dollars. In 1950, the company introduced its breakthrough product, a fully submersible pump motor that was also quieter, easier to install, and more powerful, which made it more possible to develop areas with low water tables. For homeowners who had the opposite issue, high water, Franklin introduced another successful new product in 1951, the Submatic Sump Pump. And the growth continued in products, in people, in sales. When we went public in 1959 with an initial stock offering of $18 a share, annual sales had reached $12 million. By the early 1960s, Franklin had produced over 4 million motors, and our hometown of Bluffton had become so emblematic of the American dream that Life magazine profiled the company and community in a special issue. And by the time we produced our 5 millionth submersible motor in 1969, Franklin was firmly established in the market and Franklin submersibles were operating successfully in the most demanding environments on Earth, from the North Pole to deep in the ocean. Steady growth meant domestic and international expansion. In the United States, manufacturing facilities were added in Indiana, Arkansas, and Oklahoma. By the early 80s, we had operations and subsidiaries around the world. We've also grown by strategically acquiring companies with complementary capabilities. With an eye on building market share through unique competitive advantages and best-in-class customer service. And we continually apply and adapt those capabilities for new market segments, like fuel systems, mining, and solar. For example, Franklin Fueling Systems, established in 1988 as FE Petro, has become a driving force in the industry, domestically and internationally. What's been good for our customers has been great for our shareholders. In the more than five decades since we went public, we've grown sales, profitability, and market share. Now, more than a decade into the 21st century, Franklin Electric is both very different, yet very much the same as the company that started out on the second floor of a former shoe factory in Bluffton, Indiana. We're certainly larger and more diversified, but the core attributes of the Franklin brand are still the same. Technical innovation, proven performance, and unmatched customer service and satisfaction.